My brother, listen good. Read, read the Bible. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 31, verse 27. You asked, well, what does the Bible say about alcohol? Again, let's answer the question. Wine is as good as life to a man. It says, wine is good as life to a man. Go ahead, come on. If it be drunk moderately. So God does not have a problem with you drinking. He says, drink. Who drink a guy, tiny? Come on, my brother. Read the Bible again, man. Verse 27. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 31, verse 27. Listen good. Wine is as good as life to a man. Listen up, come on. If it be drunk moderate. Our God says you must drink it in moderation. Because you know what happens? I give some people when they're drunk, they start fighting. and then, So that's why it says drink it in moderation. Wine is fine. There's nothing wrong with wine. Just drink it moderate. That's what the Bible is saying. Okay, so what's the issue? It's not an issue. Okay. I'm with you, my brother. I'm not your enemy, man. I'm your brother. No, but it's fine. Yes. Let me ask one biblical question. Okay. Because what we just answered, was it not biblical? Okay, fine. The issue of alcohol. Yes. Alcohol. What does the Bible have to say about alcohol? Okay, that's a good question. Give me Sarah 3127. Let's see what the Bible says about alcohol. Okay. We just proved that the Israelites is you and me. That's right. Our, our, our ancestors, our forefathers were sold as slaves. We agree on that. Okay, all praises. I just wanted to make sure. Sarah 31 verse 27. The book of Ecclesiasticus. No, wait, wait. Sorry, yes, sir. Yes. Yes, of course. The Bible says something about his own received in notes. We're gonna go there. Just stay with me. I know where you're going, it's John 1. But before we go there, let's but, deal but, with this. But, but, Let me answer your first question. You just asked the question. My brother, listen good. Please read the Bible. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 31, verse 27. You asked, well, what does the Bible say about alcohol? Again, let's answer the question. Wine is as good as life to a man. It says wine is good as life to a man. Go ahead, come on. If it be drunk moderately. So God does not have a problem with you drinking. He says drink. Who, who, who drink a guy tiny? <laughs> <laughs> come on, my brother. Read the Bible again, man. Verse 27. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 31, verse 27. Listen good. Wine is as good as life to a man. Listen up, come on. If it be drunk moderate. Our God says you must drink it in moderation. Because you know what happens, I give some people when they're drunk, they start fighting and then, well, so that's why it says drink it in moderation. Wine is fine, there's nothing wrong with wine. Just drink it moderate, that's what the Bible is saying. Keep reading, come on. What life is then to a man that is without wine? Come on. For it was made to make men glad. It doesn't make you glad. No, mask it. It does, it does no, no, let me finish, let me finish, hold on, listen good, come on. Wine measurably drunk. You see that? You keep repeating it. What measurably? Who will tell me? Who's got drink that was No, I won't, Muslim. Go ahead. And in season. And in season. You can't wake up in the morning, it's time to go to work. In a little great day. You can't wake up Monday morning, we're not where I'm staying. No, God says don't do that. We won't, I mean, innocent. I go by, meaning, I'll tell you occasion. Who's the occasion again? God says you can do that. Remember, Jesus Christ turned water into wine. So clearly there's nothing wrong with it. Read. Wine measurably drunk and in season. And in season. Read. It bringeth gladness of the heart. It says it bringeth gladness of the, of the heart. It doesn't. It does. Ne? Keep reading. Watch this. And cheerfulness of the mind. And cheerfulness of the mind. Wait, 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 wait. Keep reading. Come on. But wine drunken with excess. Now listen good. Now he's warning you now. What did he say? But wine drunken with excess. Are wine drunken with excess, meaning too much. What's going to happen? Make it bitterness of the mind. Meaning what? Now you start to fight. You start to cause problems for other people. You want to, you want to prove when you drink, you like Tony Walk. I don't want to know. You see my point? Go ahead. With brawling and quarrel. Brawling is fighting. Quarreling and usu yalaba. Read. Drunkenness increases the rage of a fool. Well, you see that? It says drunkenness increases the rage of a fool. Yeah. That means if you are a fool, 
you are drunk too much, you will be more even more of a fool. So God says, don't do that, man. But remember, God is a parent, okay. man. This is what I understand. You get it? Thank okay, you. now. But the question now yes. remains. You say it, you were talking about Jacob and the descendants of Jacob. Yes. Being the Israelites. Yes. Now, when he says Jesus came for his own. He came to his own, they received him not. Hey, oh, that's I a good question. Let's get it. John 1, 11. I'm going to show you. Because they read this in the churches all the time. I used to be in church, man. They used to just repeat the same things over and over. They never gave us the understanding. Okay, John 1, verse 11. The book of John, chapter 1, verse 11. Let's start at verse 10. Verse 10. He was in the world. He was in the world. And the world was made by him. Come on. And the world knew him not. Right. He came unto his own. His own is the Israelites, I get it. The rest of the Jews. Read. Really? Wait, 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 wait. Yes. When you say the Jews in this context, are you meaning literally the people? The, the physical people, people. yes. Okay. Yes. The physical people in Jerusalem. But, 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 wait, wait, wait. Yes. You say something about you and I being... Yeah, we are Jews. Yes, we are Israelites. How many Israelites is physical people like you and me? And the people that were transported on ships as slaves, were they not physical people? So wait, Mara. No, no, not Mara, Brian. They were physical people, those who are our fathers and mothers. We are their descendants. So the same thing that they went through, yes, my brother, that's what I've been trying to show you. The same people that were transported to North, Central, South America, China, India, and all of those are our ancestors. Yeah. So the rest of us, we, we migrated down to South Africa, Ghana, Guinea, Gabon, Central, the Central Republic of Congo, so on and so forth. And we started calling ourselves by different names. You understand that? But we're still the Israelites. Read the Bible. Come on. The book of John, chapter 1, verse 11. He came unto his own. He came to his own physical people. Read. And his own received him not. Read. But as many as received him. But as many as received him. So there are those of his own that received him not. But there were those that were many that received him. Go ahead. To them gave him power to become the sons of God. Now let me show you the people that did not receive him. Give me Mark 8.31. I'm going to show you the people that did not receive the Lord. When he taught them. That rejected his teaching. Okay. The book of Mark 8 verse 31. Read that. The book of Mark chapter 8 verse 31. Come on. And he began to teach them uh -huh. that the Son of Man must suffer many things. Meaning when he was going to be crucified, right? Read on. And be rejected of the elders. He was rejected of the who? And be rejected of the elders. The elders, those were the, the, the high priests, the scribes and the Pharisees. They were the leaders during that time of Rome. Yes, keep reading. And of the chief priests. And of the chief priests. Come on. And scribes. And what? And scribes. Because remember, there were many. I mean, these people were the leaders of Israel during that time. You understand? Yes. The people that they followed. Because remember, yeah. not all the people that followed the scribes and the Pharisees rejected Christ. Nicodemus is a perfect example. But remember, Nicodemus. Was he a Jew? He, he, he had his own personal wisdom. No, 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 no. But was he a Jew? No, I'm asking, was he a Jew, Nicodemus? No, he was a Jew. The Pharisees just need to mean different sects. Meaning as in, listen, somebody follows EFF, right? They're still a black man. They follow ANC, he's still a black man. So there were different sects during that time. But I, I think maybe we might have a different understanding of what he is. No, my brother, Jew is a nationality, that's it. Being a Jew means being a nationality. That's your nation. The nation we come from is the nation of the Jews. Well, the word Jew is short for Judah. That's right. Do you understand that? The word Jew is short for Judah. That's but, it. But the Bible specifically says Nicodemus was a, a Pharisee. No, my brother, listen. What, what would that the Pharisees be? is the different sects that was during the time of Rome. Meaning like different Jew groups. Already, uh, yeah, no, no, born. What does that mean? A sect meaning it's a different, let's say, a movement. Movement of the Pharisees. Movement of the scribes. Movement of the Sadducees, but, but their nation, like for instance, let's let's bring it down. Today you say you are a South African, right? Okay, South is a direction. But, yes, but yes, 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 yes. Stay with me. When you say no, my brother, when you say you are a South African, does that mean or when I say I'm a South African, is that a nationality? No. 
No, it's not. No, my brother, it's not a nationality because even on the, the form that you fill, they say, what, what, what are you? Say African, they, they say nationality, they say white, African, colored, Chinese. That's what they say. No, listen, but race, race, nationality, genealogy is all the same. Yes, and I'll prove it. Let's finish this. I'm going to prove it, brother. Come on. Stay with me, bro. The book of Mark, chapter 8, verse 31. Listen good, bro. And he began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things. That's Christ. Come on. And be rejected of the earth. He was rejected of the elders of Israel, not all Israel. Read. And of the chief priests. The chief priests, the leaders of Israel, and those that followed their teaching and rejected Christ. Come on. And scribes. And the scribes. And be killed. And after three days, three days, rise again. Now, give me that in Zerah 26, verse 21. I'm going to show you that race. Tell me something. Yes. I, I don't know. We're going to go there. Yes, yes. I'm with you. I'm listening. There was a time when Jesus was about to be thrown in, in, over the cliff. Okay. Do you remember that incident? So what happened? Oh, was it with the, the, the chief priests? Or it, it was just members of, 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 of the ones following those chiefs? Okay. Let me put it this way. My brother. The chief priests are people that follow them, right? No, the chief priests are the leaders. Yes, they, they, they don't have people that follow them. Yeah, they are. They did. Yeah. So many of them that followed the, the leaders, did they believe on Christ? No, yes or no? Not all of them. No, that, of course it's not all of them. Yeah. Because we read it in John, the same John that you quoted. Yeah. You remember what it said? Right? John 1 verse 11, go back there. No, 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 my brother, hold on. We must bring it out as it is written. Stay with me, bro. What verse 11? The book of John, chapter 1, verse 11. Listen good. He came unto his own. He came to his own. Read on. And his own received him not. Meaning, we know who received him not. Read. But as many as received him. So, you see, there was many that received him. So, listen. There were those that received Christ. There are those that did not. But you say that those who did not, it was the... The scribes and Pharisees. Yes, it's written there. So the scribes and the Pharisees were the leaders of Israel. So now I'm asking a question. Those who yes. thrown him off the cliff, who were they? They were the Israelites that followed who? Who did they follow? Right. Who were they following? Let me take the ball. Let me yeah, but don't go, my brother. You see, the, follow, the call is going to take you, and you're not going to hear this glorious gospel. Don't be going, bro. You must stay here. Don't let that phone call take you away. Okay. Find me that verse. It may be Mark. Read that verse again. Verse 11. The book of Luke. Mark. The book of John, chapter 1, verse 11. Read. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. So you and I can agree that according to what we just read, the scribes and the Pharisees are going to Mark 8.31. And you know why I went to Mark 8.31? Yeah. The reason why is this. The Bible is not supposed to be read like a novel. But, but, but Hold on. I, I want you to just stay with me, bro. Yeah. The Bible is not supposed to be read like a novel. Okay. The reason why you see me, I read here. Eh? Then I go somewhere else. And then I come back. Is the law that was given to us on how to read and teach the Bible. You are with me. Stay with me, bro. Don't lose me. So part of the reason why, read verse 11 again. I'm going to show you that. The book of John, chapter 1, verse 11. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. So the Bible teaches us that when you read this Bible, right, and you teach somebody, you give him the sense, you don't read it like a novel. You can read a scripture here, but the answer of it, you might find it in another chapter, in another book. Because that's how it's written, like a puzzle. You follow? Now, I went, hold on, I went to the book of Mark to show you who rejected Christ. Because right here, it's not specific, it's not written. You understand what I'm saying to you? 